up for sale, 1969 Mach 1. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 69 Mach 1, Q code 428 Cobra Jet, finished in factory colors. Uh, I'm going to walk around and tell you about the car. I like always, you know, point out what I see and we'll drive it and I'll tell you what I know about it. Um, I know that in 2014 it was sold at Barrett Jackson and it was restored two, two and a half years prior to it. Barrett Jackson, I'm reading something right now. Uh, they call it a two and a half year concourse restoration. The paint job was finished by world renowned artist Leonard Copton, who worked for the legendary Jean, I can't even talk, Jean Winfield. Uh, the restoration was completed by the former MCA judge. And uh, yeah, so. That's what Eric Jackson said. That's the site. And there's the last market part I got in the car. And there's the at Scottsdale. Anyway, uh, it is finished in factory colors. The candy apple red with red interior. Uh, of course, the paint is gorgeous on the car. Uh, very, you know, factory correct. Pretty much all the way around. Um, really not too many marks on it. It's, it seemed like it was just collector owned. For the last so many years um the body of course is laser straight uh the proper decal on the hood 428 emblem the engine compartment is a little special there's a lot of things in there that look great your chin spoiler on there uh very nice front bumper i mean just a couple little marks on there um but really really like if you look there it looks like new uh the hood fitment's nice and um like i said i'll point out anything that i see and really there's not too much to point out so let me pop the hood here in addition to it being you know a concourse restoration it has its original drivetrain and um it has a c6 automatic trans with power steering and power brakes and let me stick my nose down there those are front disc i believe i didn't look before yeah those are disc uh, you can eat off the underneath of the car. It finished in the prep factory primer. Looks fantastic. I got a picture of that. We'll be on the ad. Um, so, factory correct looking, your 428, 4V, you know, your four barrel auto light. And another interesting thing is it's got auto light, you know, top of the battery, auto light cables, stuff like that. Uh, I know it says auto light here, auto light there. You got like specific clamps on there that you know, look original, auto light there. You see the brake booster there and the power steering pump down there. And uh, again, it's a really nice engine compartment. Nice attention to detail, even in this area here. Specific bolts. You could tell the quality of the restoration. It just wasn't painted over the old bolts. Underhood looks, you know, amazing. Uh, so we'll keep, we will keep going here. There's the Vintag in place there. It is also in the door jam. Stuff like, you know, wipers, window trim, awesome, of course. Uh, I see a stamp there. Stamp there, stamp there, stamp there. Stamp there, stamp there. So, uh, it has all original body panels on it. The floors are unpatched, of course. Like I said, if I see anything, I will point it out. And actually, I might have missed something now that I'm thinking about it. If I can, if I can even find it. I'm struggling this hard to find it. There was like a little mark somewhere in here, a little tiny guy, like pencil tip, but, so somewhere over there. Um, We'll keep going here down the car. Well, glass is in excellent condition. Top of the car is painted nicely. We will hop in the car here. Here's the Marty report. 
which I will show you now actually. Um, of course there's the Van 428 4V uh, Mach 1 2 door sports roof, candy apple red with blackout hood treatment, red knit vinyl, Mach 1 high back bucket seats, uh, Kansas City DSO, I know it was built in San Jose, 350 rear and C6 auto trans, trim variation, traction lock diff, power front disc, and uh, tachometer and trip odometer, so already report for the car. Anyway, we'll keep going. You can see, you know, how nice that is, how nice these bolts are. There's your VIN tag in place, uh, and even the quality of the paint in the door getting close on that as well as over here there's a tiny little pencil tip mark right there of course your bucket seats look like new since the restoration there hasn't been too many miles on it um, carpet looks like new told that those are supposed to be original but I can't confirm but by looking at you know the nice how nice the floors are and being all original body panels you know there's a strong chance that a little thing up there um, I got the key in my pocket oh key should be in the trunk uh, yeah there's no cracks on the dash pad of course and it's a real deal dash pad it's not a cap for it Going into the back seat there, which looks super nice. Nope, it is not a fold down back seat. They would have set it on the uh, Marty Report headliners mint, of course. Put that back there. The only thing I noticed it could be the original console, there's a little crack on it there. Fitment, of course, is nice here. Nicely painted in here, weather stripping, underhood, the locks, of course, were redone. Original quarters in it. You get a better look on this side with like original. Uh, like an undercoating or like a factory kind of marking on it. Uh, nicely painted here with the trunk mat. You see a stamping on that. And gas tank, of course. Two layers of mat. We'll lift this side up. If I can pull it out. There we go. Nice there. Nice there as well. Of course, like even the nice backs of the light will come from this side there.
be up for sale later today on my website nextgenclassiccars.com and ebay both links will be in the description of this video if you want to check it out 69 Mach 1 428 Cobra Jet finished in factory correct candy apple red with red uh, I guess red knit interior if you want to call it that C6 automatic power steering power front disc brakes uh, was sold at Bear Jackson in 2014. It was concourse restoration done two and a half years prior to that. Um, yeah, so we'll finish this out and then we'll fire it up and then we'll drive it.